Hello, I'm Natasha Gutierrez. For the last two years, Rappler has been home to the long-running adventure and sports show, Game Plan. Today, we're talking to the three newest additions of the show, Mara Lopez Yokohama, Graham K. Gill, and Katz Salau. They're joining us here today. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. us. Thank you for coming. Okay, so quick trivia. Two years ago, I actually did the exact same interview with the newest host. So now it's like full circle for me. So I'm excited to meet all three of you. A different group now. Used to be two boys and a girl, and now two girls and a boy. So let's start with you, Mara. Uh, I'm Mara Lopez Yokohama. I'm Filipino Japanese. And a few things about me. I'm an actress, uh, which has been like a full time job since I was 11. Mm -hmm. um, but also, another full time job of mine is being a surfer and a jiu jitsu practitioner. Uh, so yeah, those are the things, um, some of the things that I am passionate about. Um, but I guess my advocacy in life would be um, spreading the vegan lifestyle and being plant-based for the planet. Okay, and how and long I'd have you love, been vegan for? I've been vegan for two years. So I guess you, you can call me like a baby vegan. Okay, and Graham, what do you do? I'm just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a big baby. Yeah, I was playing professional football here in the Philippines. I'm half English, half Filipino. Mm -hmm. My mom is from uh, Butuan City in Mindanao. And I came here two years ago to um, play professional football. Okay. And I haven't gone back to England yet. Um, <laughs> and I'm, in, I'm loving life here. Okay, and before you came here, what were you doing back um, in England? I have a business in England. We do um, tours around England, Scotland, and Wales. And then also I was playing semi-pro football. Okay, so you've so. got a baby vegan, a tour guide, and cats? I'm the weirdo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all kind of weird. That's why we get along so well. Uh, I am a radio DJ by day, three hours a day, um, and then in between I do a lot of hosting, and at night I am an indoor cycling instructor. So it's a full fitness life, the life that I'm living right now, <laughs> and now game plan, so it's pretty fun. I like making people feel good about themselves. Um, tell me what, what attracted you guys to game plan, why you guys wanted to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always uh, interested in trying new things and pushing myself and going outside my comfort zone, so I've never really been in front of a camera apart from football interviews, so I thought, why not give it a go? Uh -huh. I watched the show, really loved it, loved what it represents, and loved, I'd love to do the things that the old hosts were doing, so I thought might as well try, and I did it, and thankfully I got the job, so. Mm. Great. <laughs> it's actually my second time auditioning for Game Plan okay. this year, so um, the first time was I think two years ago. And the reason I auditioned the first time, I'm very much into adventure. Um, prior to um, doing, uh, being, being an actress, full-time actress, and doing all these traveling for surfing, uh, I joined Survivor Philippines, and I actually lived in the island for like two months. <laughs> and that's something I really had fun. I had fun doing that. And um, just like Graham, I'm very much into um, going on new adventures. I think since I started surfing at such an early age, my dad really exposed me to this whole island lifestyle, like just being out of the city and going to different places around the Philippines and around the world to discover new places, um, new beaches. And every time I go to those adventures, it's like you meet a lot of people, um, the communities, the uh, people who, uh, the locals who live there, and you establish a relationship with them. And it, it's so inspiring. And I think Game Plan would be a good venue to actually share what inspires me to the people and hopefully inspire them as well. Um, I like, I've been watching Game Plan forever. I think, I guess uh, a lot of us grew up with Game Plan um, on TV, you know, and it's such a familiar word. What's your Game Plan, that, that line? Um, and uh, I think the, most, the thing that most attracted me was the fact that they like telling stories. So I want to tell all of these stories as well. Um, Game Plan doesn't just you know, do these cool things. They actually immerse themselves in um, different situations. And they meet so many amazing people that maybe I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be able to meet if I, just, if I wasn't with them. So um, I think beyond all the adventure and the fitness and the sports, of course, all of that's a given already. It's more of the, the stories that, that Game Plan tells, the unique stories of um, the, skate, the really old skateboarder, uh, the passionate people who uh, you know, go beyond all of these different difficulties just to do what they love. Um, so there, I've always wanted to tell stories. And thank you, Game Plan, as well, <laughs> for sort of giving us this opportunity to meet all these amazing people and uh, tell other people as well that, hey, 
these people exist, um, and we want to tell them. We want to meet them. So there, that's why. Okay, you said you grew up watching Game Plan. What has been your favorite episode? Ooh, this is tough. I was a child, mm -hmm. and um, I don't remember. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I something specific. I can't remember, but I, all I remember is the feeling that watching Game Plan gave me. Um, it was so cool. You know, uh, everything that they were doing. Uh, a long, long time ago, were things that wasn't really we weren't really doing in the Philippines yet. Because uh, what, ten years ago, um, they were doing all these water sports. They were climbing mountains, and you know, it's only been recently that people are climbing all these mountains and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm on a hike. So I think it was more of the feeling of watching Game Plan more than like specific episodes that I loved, like the feeling of finding new things and going on cool adventures and thinking, hey, I want to do that too. So, no episode, okay. just the feeling. <laughs> Graham, do you have one? Uh, from the recent episodes, obviously, the, um, the skateboarder one too. That was a cool episode. And Game Plan did um, an episode where they, the host, they made fire. Right. So I, was, right. I, I thought that was really cool. Uh, like, same with Cats. I think for me, um, yeah, the skateboard episode was really good. Um, I'm familiar with the hosts, the previous hosts, like um, Paolo Abrera, Susie Abrera, and um, Paolo Soler, which is actually a close family friend of mine. And I remember he would always like, go to these different adventures, like so much adrenaline, like the show has so much adrenaline, and that's something I think a lot of people want to do, but they feel like, oh, maybe it's not for me, so I'll just watch it. But I think with Game Plan, it it shows people that anyone can do it. Okay, what are your, uh, I guess, dream or ideal shows or adventures to go on? Like, if there was one that you really would like to try, uh, what would that be? Actually, <laughs> skydiving is on my list. Um, that's something that's on my bucket list for the longest time. But when I say skydiving, I want to be able to be trained for skydiving and actually be able to skydive without a mm. guide behind me. Yeah, that would be fun, I think. I think those are the stories I'm going to tell, as well as um, individual stories of people actually um, inspire, um, inspiring people who actually want to make a difference. Uh, for example, I have a teammate. Her name's Meggie Ochoa, and she's, um, she's a two times world champion now um, in jiu jitsu. And yeah, those are the stories I want to share, like people that I meet in my daily life and maybe share it to others. Okay. That's something a little different, okay, yeah. from what we're used to. You can go free diving without the the tank and stuff, I'd love to do that kind of thing and just, I want to make my mum scream, so jumping out of aeroplanes, <laughs> jumping with a bungee, so anything that would make my mum go. That's your goal, yeah. to stress out your mum. Stress mom. my mum out. Great. Because she's in England, so I have to do something to <laughs> stress her out. I want to survive, like I want to go on an adventure that will force me to get down on my knees and scavenge and um, just try to survive. And it, I don't necessarily mean just you know nature and survival in the mountains or in the fields, more of just like urban survival as well. I feel like I am so sheltered. Like if I was left alone, I'm not really sure if I could function. <laughs> you know, so it would be cool to have um, sort of an an episode or do episodes of actually living a different life as a completely different life of what I'm living now. Okay. So that's cool. Also, same with everyone actually, meeting all these different people and figuring out um, what is cool about them and then introducing them to the, the game plan viewers, audience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, telling stories of all these people and going on all these like crazy adventures so. okay so in the age of social media right now obviously uh, people are sharing their adventures it's so much easier to share and in fact uh, you know lifestyle choices are becoming healthier right so what do you think will game plan bring in the age of you know social media all, all of this will be shared easily um, what what's different about this group what what would you guys bring the three of you why is this season gonna be what's gonna make it special I think a lot of our, um, the game plan, we were talking about it earlier as well. We want to show a lot of different sides of uh, Filipino pride. Um, that's one that would be different from this episode. Um, we're all so different, all three of us are so different. So we bring a different um, kind of vibe to the show. Um, you can see in our profile videos that, yeah. that we're just completely different. I was about hard work and passion and stuff like that. Okay, how old are you guys? I am 24. Okay. 25. 
26. But what's the target audience? Target audience would be like everyone. So um, <laughs> apparently um, I thought the target audience would be people our age, like the millennials, as you, if you want to call it that. But um, apparently one of the, um, the kids of our producer, when they saw like our game plan episodes, they were like, oh, Mara, um, my kid said that after seeing your episode for your profile, like she wanted to try surfing. So then, and she's like, I think three years old. She three? She's three. It's Nala three. Three, yeah. <laughs> Nala's three years old. Um, he's just, yeah, surfing at three. Yeah, it's yeah, actually that, possible. Yeah, right, right. And so for me, after that, I was like, oh, so everyone can watch this. Someone as young as three. And I think people as old as like a hundred or okay. whatever, because um, honestly, I think game plan would be something for everyone. And it, it's a venue to inspire everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so you asked about what some what is the new things we are going to bring where we are new hosts and I'm still getting to know these two and that's something I'm very excited about is to go on adventures with them okay. so when Kat was saying like she wants to do survival I actually want one episode where all three of us will just go on an island somewhere and just like survive for like one week or one month are you okay <laughs> with that all right yeah but um for new things um we also want to bring stories with more passion so from our profiles you could see that um we are all passionate about different things and that's something that each of us as an individual could bring like a lot of things to the table and so stories with more passion definitely passion, passion pride passion. and adventure and adrenaline and yeah well i asked this question just because you know like i said in the age of social media messages are spread so quickly mm -hmm. so if there's one thing you wanted the audience to take away from you individually what would it be my dad says this a lot um to just go for it um, my dad's Japanese, and he's the one who actually um, got me into surfing and a lot of the sports I'm doing today. Um, but both my mom and dad, um, they've inspired me at a very young age. And yeah, they tell me to go for it, like go for your dreams, go for the things that scare you, go for the things that um, you want to achieve. Because, you know, our life here on Earth is short. Um, I feel like uh, we're given, we should make the most out of it. And yeah. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag go for it. <laughs> Similar to Mara, I would like to just show people that it's never too late to try new things. I remember being in school when I was 16, and I wanted, to, I wanted personally, I wanted to be a footballer, and everyone around me was telling me I'm never going to be a footballer, and now I've been a professional footballer, and I never thought I was going to be a host. Now I'm a host. So I want to show people that they can try new things, they can do things that they never thought they could do, and just hopefully motivate and inspire them to try something new every day. Okay. Um, we're all sort of in the same line because I think we know that game plan sort of inspires people to try and, and if they fall, just keep going. But personally, I think it's, it's feel good about everything that you're doing for me. It's uh, be happy in who you are. I mean, the three of us, the thing that I love about this, they're so comfortable. We're so comfortable with who we are, as weird and as quirky as we are. <laughs> um, and. I guess uh, personally, I would, I want to be that sort of person that someone, when they watch, they see, hey, she's weird too. Yeah. I can relate, relate, and she's doing all these cool things, you know. And um, that I, it's also in the lines of sort of making people know that um, they can do this. It's not just because you know Graham's a professional football player, Mara's been in sports for the longest time. Anyone, absolutely anyone, can do this. We're just the poster people. The try it first, and then get hurt a bit, and then you can try it after, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's more of just, again, inspiring, um, sharing passion, or even relighting whatever they thought they could never do again. Just try it again and keep going, because it's never too late. Just do it. Okay, and are there any fears, perhaps, that you want to overcome? You know, heights, water, obviously not water for you, but perhaps anything that, uh, or what are you scared of that you wish to overcome in this episode or in the show? I'm scared of dancing. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting for that episode. If we then. did a dancing okay. episode, I'd be scared. Dancing but is I'm definitely kind of a sport. Ballroom yeah, of course it's a sport. Ballroom dancing. I kind of wish I didn't tell it, say this in front yeah, of the producers because now I they know my, the <laughs> they know my weakness now. You're so. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, I'm not really. Obviously, I would be scared if I was to do a skydive or a bungee, but something I would like to overcome and just go and go for it. Great. Just do it. Perfect example. <laughs> um, I usually get nervous and scared before competitions, and this year I'm planning to join my first. Um, 
Worlds competition for Jiu Jitsu. Okay. And that's like the biggest competition in the world. That's why they call it Worlds. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty nervous for that, but I'm going to overcome it by just going for it yeah. and just like what Kat said, um, just go for it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that on June. So I will try and overcome look. my fears uh, and look, just go for look. it. Yeah. Strong girl. Um, my fear is to, when I saw the triathlete episode, by the way, I was like, I want to do things and then I psych myself out. You know what I mean? Like I end up thinking I can't do this or um, yeah, it's sort of still in my mind. And I think what I want to overcome is actually feeling that fear of like, you can't do it. You know what I mean? Like you can't push farther. Um, I'm scared to do the free diving because I feel like I will not get up um, on time or do a triathlon because I feel like I'm not going to finish. So all these doubts in my mind, that's what I want to beat, really. So why don't you guys go ahead and invite the audience to watch you guys and give them a reason why. Our social media. <laughs> so I'm inviting everyone to please um, watch our future episodes on Game Plan. Join us in our adventure, because um, it's going to be our adventure, not, not just our adventure, but all of us together. Yeah. So please join our adventure. Um, Follow Game Plan TV on Instagram and my account, Mara Lopez Y, for a lot of your surf adventures too. Yeah, come watch our show. Um, we're going to bring so much, so many good stories and happy memories and passion and hard work because that beats talent. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, watch these two make fun of me all for the next year or two. Yes, please um, join us with all our adventures. If you think we're kind of weird now, just wait. <laughs> you will get um, enough of all of this, and you're right. It is our adventure. So it won't be complete if you don't watch it. At Kat Sala for me, at Graham Cagle, and at Mara Lopez Z. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, there you go. And that's the game plan. <laughs> I was speaking to the newest hosts of Game Plan. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. Thanks for dropping by.